On Sunday, the Sun Devils carded their first loss against Louisiana State University 5-2. After the contest, the Sun Devils dropped out of the top 25, while the Tigers jumped to number 7, 10 spots higher than their previous ranking. Let's take a look at the game flow from over the weekend. It was a hot one in Tempe Sunday and both teams came out on fire, each scoring a goal in the first 90 seconds of the match. ASU drew first blood with a goal from Wynn, but it was LSU who took the lead and wouldn't look back. The number 17 Tigers and the number 21 Sun Devils duped it out in a physical matchup with neither team able to firmly control the midfield. LSU was able to counter the Sun Devils attack netting four goals before the break. In the second half, the Sun Devils were a different team and came out with more energy, but it was too little, too late. The physicality of the game led to a penalty opportunity for LSU that was cashed in by Alicia Garcia, putting the Tigers up 5-1. Later, Sun Devil midfielder Eva Van Dersen had a penalty opportunity but missed wide right. Van Dersen would redeem herself with an unbelievable half volley that snuck under the crossbar from outside the 18. Ultimately, Arizona State's offense couldn't seem to find their rhythm despite plenty of opportunities to score. Head coach Graham Linkworth had this to say about the Sun Devils' first loss. Um, gifted our opponents a couple of goals, two or three goals early on in the game, and weren't able to recover from that, and then created enough chances to win four games, but didn't capitalize on them. So, uh, we just need a good response from the first Thursday, the Sun Devils are heading to Tucson for another out-of-conference round robin. First, they'll face Nebraska, and then on Sunday, they'll take on Texas Tech before starting pack play next week. For WCSN, I'm Nick Elzer, signing off.